Hello, so we've covered some of the basics of um, using Turbo Pascal and writing in Pascal. Uh, what we're going to do now is start um, using graphics. Uh, there are a few modes in Turbo Pascal. Uh, the main mode that we've used is text modes, which we've uh, been in uh, in all of the other lessons so far, uh, which is 80 columns wide by um, 25 24, 25 rows high. Uh, that can be changed in uh, preferences to so that there's more rows, but uh, generally speaking, it's 80 columns by 25 rows. Um, and then there's a couple more graphics mode. One of them is uh, 16 color graphics mode, which is what we're going to go through today. And there's a nice library for us to use um, in 16 color mode, which makes it really, really easy to perform. Uh, quite a large number of tasks from drawing lines to placing pixels to drawing circles and arcs and anything you can imagine really uh, and also placing images on the screen as well um, but then after that we have another mode which is 256 color mode we're not going to cover that in this lesson because 256 color mode um, does not have a library um, so to use it we'd have to write our own functions and procedures and we would also uh, we're going to have to start using pointers and assembly language now if you haven't used uh, pointers and assembly language before um, you're going to have to uh, learn a little bit about both of those before we can move on to using 256 color mode. So uh, after this lesson, I think we'll we'll do some animation using 16 color mode, and then we'll do a lesson or two on um, pointers and assembly language, so that we can move on to 256 color mode. But without further ado, let's start programming. So first of all, we need to name our program um, let's call it uh, test graph um, on the other programs we had uses CRT which we still need to do but we're going to add an additional one which is graph which initializes which includes the, uh, the graphics library um, so we're going to create a couple of procedures. Uh, the first one we call init, short for initialization. You can call it whatever you like, but we're trying to keep things uh, with a reasonable meaning. Um, in there we want a couple of variables. One of them will do an abbreviation for uh, graphics driver, GD, and we'll do a second one, GM for graphics mode. And they're both of type integer. And let's do a begin and an end, a semicolon, because this is a procedure. And let's assign some values to the two variables that we just declared. So GD um, is going to equal right let's pause there a second actually and I'll show you where these values come from okay so if we go into our TP directory and then into doc uh, this is all the documentation obviously and the one we're interested in is graph.int which I've already opened up uh, which is here and if we scroll to the top, here we are. Define graphics drivers. So we're divide, so we're declaring our graphics driver as VGA. So we can put that in there. And then for graphics mode, if we go back in our documentation. That's the graphics drivers, and then below is graphics mode. And in here, the most suitable one I found for our needs right now is VGA high, which is 640 pixels by 400 and 
80 pixels in 16 colors so we just need to type in VGA hi uh, the next bit I found what I needed someone else has done the hard work for me here just wanted to make this uh, as easy as possible so um, actually no we're not cancel that what we're going to do first um, is use a function called init graph um, which takes three arguments uh, the first one is our graphics driver second one is the graphics mode and the th which we've already declared above and the third one is we've got to open this up again uh, so if we do So in here it shows us that we need the three arguments, the graphics driver, the graphic mode, and then the path to the driver. So the path to the driver is, we'll go back to TP, um, it's in the BGI directory. Uh, so the way I've set up DOSBox is the programs file is the C drive, so we want to do C, TP, BGI, and then that will find the EGA, VGA .BGI, um file. Okay, so this goes in single quotes, so C colon backslash, I forgot what I said already, uh, TP BGI, TP backslash BGI, uh, close bracket semicolon. Right, once you initialize the graph, what happens? is the result of that whether it's failed or succeeded is written to a function called graph result but in order to use graph result we need to assign it to a variable so we we'll use the one that we've already got which is gd um, and that equals graph result And then we can do an if statement if GD is less than or greater to GROK, then um, we'll do this on two lines. All right, so begin and Right, we can use right line. It, you, once you're in the graphics mode, you can't use right line. You've got to use uh, some different functions. But this is only happening if it's failed to go into graphics mode. So we're still safe using right line. So um, in right line, we can put error. Uh, and then we can also write what the error is uh, using another function called graph error message you can find this in that file that we looked at a second ago all of this and then we want to put the argument in which is what we've written to GD or sorry what we've assigned to GD um, and then if all of this has failed we just want to halt everything so we use that command there uh, so we've done end. So that's the end of our initialize, initialization procedure. Uh, let's create another procedure, which we'll call destroy. Um, and it's as simple as the uh, function close graph we use that just to shut everything down once we finish so we can go back into text mode so next thing we want to do is
start. Oh, what's happened there? Right, we start our main program. So we end up with a full stop rather than a semicolon. And we want to call our initial, uh, our init uh, procedure like that. And then, right, this is where we're going to go back into that file we were looking at a second ago. And if we scroll down, we can start seeing, right, like, th this is probably, right, the most, in the simplest form, we can do put pixel. It has a, a an X and a Y and a color, basically. So, type in put pixel. Um, as I explained at the beginning, we're in 640 by 480 mode. The top left hook corner, top left hand corner of the screen is 0, comma 0, and the bottom right hand corner is 639, comma 479. So let's just pick a point at random to put a pixel. Really doesn't matter where it is, so we do 322, comma 45. And then oh, the third argument is the color. Um, now the color, let's just show you that quickly. Um, that's in here as well somewhere. Here we go. So we can just pick any color at random. Doesn't really matter. Let's say green, which is two. So we type in the number two, close bracket, semicolon. Uh, we need to put one more command in, it doesn't work without it, which is called read key. And now, let's see if it compiles. It does, so it should run. And we should see a pixel, uh, the X position 322, so it's 640 wide, so it'll be about halfway in the screen and 45 down. Uh, I don't know, somewhere around here it should should be a, a green, one green pixel and there it is, one green pixel on the screen hopefully you can see that on this video I can see it quite clearly here but I'm not entirely sure how good it is on playback but we shall see right so let's have a look at that file again um So let's put pixel. So we can just do a basic line. So this one here, procedure line. So they're just all integers x1, y1, x2, y2. It's just a line from one point to another point on the screen. Um, it's just line, isn't it? Yep. So line, um, we'll do it from the top left hand corner, zero to the bottom right hand corner. So uh, X1, that's the top left hand, that's the very top left hand corner, and then it's got to be comma Y1, which we want to be right at the bottom of the screen, so that will be um, 479, and then X2, which will be 639, and then Y2. Oh, I've got this wrong, sorry. Y1 is 0, and then Y2 is 479, like so. Uh, oh, right, now what we do as well, because we don't, with put pixel, you put the color as an argument, but with line, you don't. So, uh, there's another command here called, let's have a look. Set color, I think it is. Let's just make sure. Yeah, there it is. Which is just a, a number, which is a number between 0 and 15. So, set color. Uh, let's just pick 7. 
I don't know what color that is, but we'll soon see. So compile that. Yeah, absolutely fine. And there we have a line from the top left hand corner down to the bottom right hand corner. So uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, we can set the background color here. Do we need to do that now? I don't think we do really. Uh, oh, text. Let's do text. So you've got two text ones here. Out text and out text xy. So if we do just out text, that I believe just puts the text at zero comma, comma zero, which is the top left, the very top left hand side of the screen. So as I was saying before, you can't use right line, so you have to use out text. So Hello world. Actually, let's just put set. Do a different color. Oh, little error there. Yep. So the text is at uh, zero comma zero, but. If we change this to out text xy, then we put, oh, I don't know, let's say 350, comma, 78, comma, hello world. Oops. And there we can position the text wherever we want. So let's have a look, see what else we can do. Um, there's a lot of them as you can see. Um, this really is just a, just a brief tutorial uh, showing you how you can use any of these. Now I've shown you a few, you should be able to just go through this and experiment yourself and try them all if you like. Um, there's nothing difficult about any of them. Um, I don't even think any of them will surprise you to be honest with you but let, let's just do one more let's do um, should we do a circle so we can set we set the position with X and Y and then we put the radius as our third argument which will be the number of pixels it is from the center to the outside edge of the circle. So let's have a look. So circle, um, let's say 250, oh, 250, comma, 190, and then a radius of what, how many pixels should we do? 75 pixels? circle well I think we're going to leave it there um, I think that's definitely given you a, a very basic idea of how you use graphics in 16 color mode um, have a go at any of this as you please uh, what we're going to do next um, is oops how do I get out of here That's better. Right, what we'll do next is we're going to use the this procedure here, put image, and we'll try uh, animating it. We, we'll put a little pixelated image on the screen and we'll animate it across the screen and see what happens. Um, so until then, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.